what I really believe in, that I think, actually I do think a lot of people believe this right now, but I do believe that um, we can create um, a financial inclusive world where we do share, we do give everybody access, and we do allow people to actually invest in things that actually do good for the world. So hi, my name is Patrick, uh, I'm a managing partner at the Clear Minds Investment. Clear Minds is a, is a modern advisory solution, it means that we offer a platform where investors can come and invest in, in funds um, and get tailored portfolios that are suitable for just their needs. And what, what ClearMinds really offer uh, that is it's quite unique is that we offer a platform where really investors can come and take control while always being supported by very experienced experts. So we offer a digital solution where you kind of take back and give control back to the investors themselves while also giving the support that they always need. So the target audience of, of ClearMinds is really the savvy investors that really understand the benefits of digital services, that understand also what the problem is today with the traditional services, and the people that really want to take control of their investments. Now, this is not gender or age specific, uh, this goes across borders. From the older generation, it's gonna have a massive impact in the financial industry. Now, if the newer generation are more eager to invest, that's something we're going to have to see. What we do know is that they take a lot more care in about what they are investing in. So that means you have to talk about responsible investing, sustainable investing, where you can see that what you are investing has, in has a good impact on not only your own personal well-being in terms of you are generating financial return, but also as in the world as a whole. The world looks very unstable. Political risks, they, they pop up in China, the US, Europe, seemingly everywhere. But what we say is, is they take a step back. Instead of looking at your investment on the short time horizon, look on the long time horizon. And suddenly if you take a long term view, short term risks, like these political risks that we see today, become a lot less scary. I think financial services and financial markets Will, will radically change over the next year. Um, and if we think of financial services, I think that we're already seeing a lot of changes happening right now. We're becoming digital, costs are becoming lower. And also big players, big banks, are changing and adapting to the market. For the financial markets themselves, I think blockchain is going to have a, a big impact. Um, the way we are investing in, in securities, in funds, will look very different in, in a couple of years a little bit together with why digital services matter. Um, and the main benefit here are the costs. Compared to the traditional private advisors, where you sit down, you have a relationship, you can get so much lower cost. And costs is what a lot of people don't know, one of the most important factors for generating stable, long-term financial returns. Because what you always know is that costs always come. Financial returns, on the other hand, they fluctuate from year to year. But costs, they will always impact the returns negatively. For those that are just starting out the journey to build uh, their own fintech, um, I think you know the best advice I can give is be agile, be fast, listen to the market, um, have your idea, but do not be too attached to it. Right? Try it out and adapt. That is, I think you know, the, the key point if you really want to, to create a good solution for the market.